Hey guys, this is James with Isotropic, and in this video I want to talk about how we can use artificial intelligence to automatically tag and add alternative text to our images in WordPress. So this is a really neat plugin that I was introduced to by a client. It's called Classify, and essentially what it does is allow you to connect your WordPress website to uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence from IBM and Microsoft. And then take that uh, that machine learning power that you have access to with these services and automatically tag an image, give them image descriptions, and crop them at the focal point. You can also tag it. So if you have a massive image library, uh, adding the image tags makes it easier to search. So this is this is really made for publishers. Uh, if you're using WordPress to publish a lot of content and want to um, kind of slow things down, I mean speed things up and add automatic uh, alternative text and a title and a caption to your image, then that is, uh, this this could be a really good option for you. So I want to show you kind of how it works on the front end-ish and then show you how it works on the back end. So first, I'm on Unsplash and I'm going to find a photo of some recognizable object uh, and then I'm going to also use something a little more difficult just to kind of show you what this can do. So let's just look up a camera. And if you don't know, Unsplash is a great uh, photo repository, completely royalty free images. So here's an image of a Canon camera. And we all know it's a Canon camera, but I want to show you kind of how the machine processes it and what it does. So we're going to upload our media like normal drag and drop into WordPress. It'll upload it. I have an image optimization plugin, so it will take a little bit to crunch it down. And once it's crunched down, I'm going to show you the tags that were assigned to the image, the alternative text that was assigned to the image. And if we're lucky, we might even get a title and a caption out of this. And as you can tell, if you're uploading a million different images at once, if you're doing a lot of content every day, this can really help you save a lot of time and remain uh, in good terms with search engines and accessibility and all of that. So here's our image uploaded and you can see we have classify image processing. That's a plugin that we installed and I'll show you how to do that in a bit. And here's the alternative text, a camera on a table. So it was able to figure out that this is a camera and it was able to figure out that this is a table. And then it also tagged everything tons of really good uh, tags. And then it also gave a description, Canon EOS. Um, so this is, this is incredibly impressive to me because it, it might've been difficult for the machine to figure out that this was a Canon, Canon camera because of the reflections and it's a dark object, but it figured out it was a camera. It figured out that the camera is on the table. It figured out that it's a Canon camera and then it went as far as adding digital SLR, mirrorless interchangeable lens camera, point and shoot camera. These are all different types of cameras that you might want your image to be classified by. Let's do another image just really quick to kind of iron that point home. And let's look up, I want to look up a lion and see if it can figure out living things. So we're going to download a picture of a majestic lion and I'm actually going to do a smaller file size. If we go to that drop down menu and click small, smaller file size, less space used up on your site. And it usually looks pretty good on the front end, even in that size. So we're going to upload this. It's going to crunch it. The, uh, the, the service will run and it will automatically tag the image using AI. So let's take a look and see what, see what this one did. And this is actually live on our our agency website now animal carnivore lying mammal outdoor a lion sitting in a field and what do you know it's a lion and it's in a field and it's an animal and a carnivore and a mammal so that's really impressive to me and i i i'm very surprised that machine learning is able to do this and that we are able to access this for free so now let's talk about the plugin behind this and, and how it 
assigns these terms to it. So plugins called classify as I uh, pointed out in the beginning of this video and I don't believe it's available on the repository but it's a free plugin so what you need to do to download it is add your information here add a use case uh, and then register for free and once you've registered for free you'll get an email and that email will go ahead and send you a registration key registration is 100 percent free provides notifications all of that it'll send you an email key so you add your registered email and your uh, your your registration key and then save the changes in the classify plugin and this plugin actually has two different aspects it has language processing which I'm not talking about in this video and language processing allows you to uh, essentially access the advanced tag management for uh, your 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 content so it will automatically tag and categorize content on a website um, I'm not sure how much I would want to use that because I like tagging and categorizing my blog posts on the isotropic blog manually but I could see how some people want that now if we go to image processing it'll show you how this works so first off we use Microsoft is your or however you pronounce it I hope I pronounced it right and this is actually using a, a sub offering of the Microsoft Azure platform which is computer vision and you need to set this up on the Azure platform uh, and once you've set it up and I'll link in the description to a guide showing you how to do that uh, basically you go to the platform you register for computer vision you get 12 months free uh, I think the free plan you get um, maybe 20 API calls a minute which means you can upload probably 10 images I don't, I don't really know how it works precisely but you get you get a decent amount of free stuff for 12 months uh, all you need to do is register for the Azure platform and then uh, enable the computer vision from the marketplace set up your endpoint URL uh, grab the first API key paste it in and you're good to go and what this does is connects it to computer vision computer vision is uh, a tool that Microsoft made which basically does exactly what I just showed you it it looks at images and it recognizes the content within the image and then it automatically assigns language to that image so as alt text or and as tags all right so here are the options that we have fairly basic options but it's it's does all right automatically caption the image and caption confidence threshold is um, important so this is 75% sure that the item is what it is if it's under 75% sure you will not get a caption automatically tag the image uh, and then that's the threshold for that and then image tags uh, if you have a custom taxonomy I think you would be able to assign it uh, to that Im enable image spark cropping uh, if there's a region of interest and the, the computer determines that the the rest of the image isn't going to be beneficial to the readers because it's a bunch of dead space uh, it will crop it to the uh, subject just as they kind of show you here this is your big image if you crop it down to a thumbnail uh, in the default version of WordPress it will it may and not will it may um, cut off the actual the actual subject but what this does is uses the computer vision to determine where the center mass of the main focal point is and then crop that square thumbnail around it so it really helps you get better thumbnails and that's a big selling point and it's done automatically um, but if we run back here uh, you got smart cropping and the final thing you have is OCR and the OCR isn't great um, and let's see if I can find a neon sign and see if we can show you how the OCR works it isn't great and it might be something that you don't want or we'll do this we'll do a one-way sign it might not be something you want because it's not always very very functional uh, for example I uploaded a, a picture of a Audi car and that Audi car it grabbed the um, text that said Audi from the front of the car except the D in the Audi became a Russian character rather than a D so I don't know how beneficial that would be for search uh, and it might just confuse your visitors but uh, for black letters I think OCR should work 
all right and i'll show you how it how it works here first off super impressive a close-up of a street sign sitting on the side of a road street sign it figured out that this was a road it figured out that we're kind of close up to it probably based on the focus and the background and that's really impressive here's our ocr the ocr gets pushed into the description and it gets one way and then traffic sign text street sky road all of that so as you can see this is a incredibly powerful little utility that not many people know about it's the classify plugin and this is just the um just your automatic image stuff i'll go over language processing in another video once i have that set up but it, this is just the automatic image stuff and essentially what it does is automatically adds alternative text that's really descriptive and is is surrounding aware so it knows that this is a line but it also knows that it's in a field it will tag your images which makes it easier on the back end if you're trying to search for things in the future if there is text to be translated and you have OCR on it will add that into the description box and finally for the thumbnail crop it will go ahead and crop around here instead of maybe the default being this crop so you can just see that this is a really powerful plugin allows you to access some really powerful technology that somebody wouldn't even have thought would exist uh, 10 years ago just a really cool thing that i wanted to uh, introduce to you guys and kind of show you it's free to install so go ahead and install it and poke around and be wowed and amazed like me i've probably uploaded a gigabyte of images from unsplash just to see what the, ma the machine learning and uh, ai spits out so it's it's kind of addicting and it's it's just a really interesting and neat um, utility. All right, this is James from Isotropic. If you liked this content, give us a like, comment, subscribe. Also, head over to our well-followed blog. Um, we do a lot of WordPress tutorials. There's probably going to be an in-paper tutorial on how to install your your uh, API key. An endpoint URL because I'm going to link in the GitHub to the instructions on how to do that, but it's a little bit complicated, so I might make a video or a blog post and link it in the description showing you how to do that. All right, have a great day.